Are you sure of your state? Hi there. Uh, I want to show you two ways in which you can use Dehumanizer 2 to process some vocals. Uh, the first way we're going to see is this astronaut one, and it's just going to be some simple uh, vocal processing that sounds like it's coming through a radio and the suit. And the second is going to be more grills and monstrous sounds that are coming from the zombie. So if I head back to the first one, uh, you can see here I already have some audio on the track. This is just to signify, say, if you've been given a performance by an actor and uh, you are going to need to process it now to fit it more in the scene. Please forgive my voice acting. It's uh, just a very quick way to demonstrate what's going in. So this is how it sounds without Dehumanizer 2. I've reached the area where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. So it's just like a quick description of what's going on in the screen with this astronaut floating around. So a good place to start when using Dehuman uh, Dehumanizer 2 is with its presets. And uh, in this case, we're doing a dialogue preset, which is sorted into this category. And again, there's a category for radio as well. Uh, we want this to be clean and clear. This is like nothing uh, over the top is happening here. This would just be a very... A simple scene. So I found that the walkie talkie preset was a really good place to start. Once you've got the preset uh, loaded up, you can see that all these modules are on the edit space and you can click on each one of them and have a listen to each individually. So the pitch shifter here, if I solo that, sounds like this. I appreciate you where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. So as you can hear, it is literally mostly just EQ uh, going on here to make it sound a lot more like it's inside the suit. In terms of uh, the pitch controls, we're not doing anything with it, but say you wanted to tweak it slightly, you can do that all in real time while listening back. So if I play this and tweak the sense to just adjust the vocal pitch just a little bit. I appreciate where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. Commence controlling. So that's a way you could like flatten the pitch a little bit more or pitch it up slightly to change the actor's natural pitch. The second module on here is the granular one. And if we solo this, it sounds like this. I've reached the area where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. So as you can hear, it's had a lot of EQing done to it as well, but uh, it sounds a lot more uh, grainy and choppy so sounding, which is coming from the grain size and the max voices, which you can adjust again in real time to make it suit your needs. I've reached the area where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. Commencing drilling. Drilling was successful. And I can make it sound um, even more choppy by reducing the grain size and reducing the number of max voices. And the last one here is the granular 2, which is being used way more as an effect. You can see the grain size has been moved up and the max voices up, but the other thing that's changed here is the grain pitch, which has been pitched right down. Um, so it's way more of a lower end breathy effect that's going on here. And that just adds to that low end rumble or feedback kind of sound that you'd be getting from the radio pitches. So if I unsolo this, we can hear all of it together. I appreciate you where the issue appears to be. Moving in now. Commencing drilling. Drilling was successful. So that's a way you can quick and easily start with a preset and tweak it into Humanizer just a little bit to fit your needs. So for the second scene here, um, there is no dialogue. It's uh, more growls and a zombie um, kind of spitting and all the kind of guttural sounds and monstrous sounds you get from all that kind of stuff. And I've decided to start uh, making this preset from scratch as there is no zombie style preset in the Dehumanizer 2 preset selections. This is still a very quick and easy way to work with Dehumanizer. Um, because all of the modules that you want to use are here on the top bar and you can just drag them in, drop them down. You can then just connect them by pulling over these lines and that's them all connected up to the output and then you'll be able to hear what the output is of Dehumanizer. First of all, here is how this vocal sounds on its own. <sighs> So just loads of growling and shouting at the microphone, you know, um, just 
your typical kind of performance things for zombies. And uh, so the first module here that I dragged and dropped on was the delay pitch shift. Now, this is a great way to start with monster vocals because it is got uh, it adds a lot of depth um, because it's got the delayed component. You can add a bit more feedback and pitch it all down and it's good for like lower layered monster sounds and creates that kind of got her all doubled up deeper vocal components and the great thing with the humanizer is you can actually change all of these settings in real time as well while doing it so i'll tweak some of the parameters here for you to hear So as you can hear, I don't want it to have like a ton of feedback, otherwise it sounds like it's two vocals going at once. But um, just a few tweaks of the pitch controls and you can hear how it is just slightly makes everything sound bigger. And then the second component, which is the, the main one for this vocal, is the uh, pitch shifter, which removes all the delay components and just has a straight, much cleaner pitch shifted sound. So uh, let's hear how that sounds. <sighs> So something really subtle like uh, three semitones and just a few uh, cent reduction is enough to make it uh, seem a little bit more inhuman, but it keeps the tone of the performance that you've put into it. And lastly is the scrubbing convolution, which is probably the more complex um, of the modules, but still very simple to use. Um, and this takes the input that you are putting into Dehumanizer 2 and then uses it to trigger a scrubbing tool that goes through the audio file that's in this region so you can see here i've chosen a dog grill sound and it doesn't sound exactly like the dog grill when it does it because it's actually like just as i say scrubbing through the file and playing back the different elements as it reaches those based on what kind of input you're putting in so like the longer held notes or louder notes it will make it further up the length of this file and you'll hear more of this like kind of scratchy growling sound <laughs> And the way that you can make it go further up the audio file is by uh, raising this up here. So it makes it easier for, it's like a kind of a resistance meter here. And you just grab and move the pucks depending on how far you want to get up. Like say you only want it to get to the very start. Most of the time it'll play just that bit. But if you really raise it up like that, it's going to get further up. I'll demonstrate that just now. <laughs> So as you can see, depending on where the pucks are moved, depends on how far it can get up the sample. And this just adds a really good growly, kind of high, gritty layer to everything um, and makes everything sound a little bit more gruff. And as you can see, you can change the volumes on each of these modules and mix it to get the required levels you want from uh, all of these sounds. So let's have a listen to it all together. <sighs> And that's so you can quickly get your preset to sound how you would like it with the audio input. But uh, say you wanted to perform along in real time with this. So I'm going to delete this here. Um, you could just enable your track and um, perform along, but you would still just hear only your vocal. It would be unprocessed from Dehumanizer. So what you want to do is, well, this is Reaper, so I would put the record monitoring on, but that would just be input monitoring and other DAWs or any feature where you can hear the signal coming in. That is how you will hear the processing done with Dehumanizer in real time. So if I just click this on, and that way I can perform along with the, with the clip. So let's hear how that sounds. And you can easily perform along with the clip. Um, 
as you would like to, or even allow the actor to hear how they will sound as the monster, and it could help to get a better performance out of everything. So that's how you can quickly and easily make uh, more of a monstrous vocal in Dehumanizer 2. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information, or to get a free 10-day demo of any of our plugins, head over to croatosaudio.com. Thanks for watching.